My name is Pat Brady, and I'm the author of Walk Confidently with God. And this is part two in a series in which I'm explaining the process that I wrote about in chapter five, where you can accelerate your payments to pay down your debt in a, in a short period of time. And so, uh, to review from the, from the first clip, uh, remember we talked about first you identify where you're spending your money then with that in, uh, information you look for ways that you can uh, cut back your spending so that you have a positive cash flow and you, and you have extra money at the end of the month. We used in that example that you were going to take 200 of that extra dollar, uh, extra money a month and apply it to debt. Now what I want to do is I want to take you through this process that I wrote in the book uh, and so that you can visually see it work. I simplified the numbers from what I've done in the book. The book, I tried to give you some fairly realistic numbers of what a person might have as a bar of debt. This one I'm using lots of ones and zeros so that we can uh, round. And, but I, what I want you to be able to do is see the process and also get a sense of how effective this uh, uh, can be when, to take that $200 if applied in the right way. All right, so let's begin with uh, the way I've got the uh, chart organized. When you uh, begin the process, as I wrote about in chapter five, you need to come up with a, uh, a table that lists all your debts. And when I say debts, I mean the ones where you have a balance you're making payments on, not the other kinds of things you're making, you pay on a monthly basis because there are other kinds of expenses. This is just debt. Okay, so you, you put on what, down the left hand side, you list, list the, the different areas that you have to make on payment on. You put them in order of the greatest to least. Okay, so beginning with a mortgage, then two, uh, two car payments, a furniture payment, Visa, and a MasterCard. That's what we're using here. And we're beginning with a $300 uh, uh, balance on your home, and then $24,000 on your first car, $12,000 on your second, six on the, furn uh, the furniture, $2,500 on, on the Visa, and $1,500 on the MasterCard. Okay, now, if any time, if, if you had two uh, payments that were or balances that were just about the same, then you, you take into account the size of the actual monthly payment as well as the interest rate. If the payment and the, and the amounts are equal, balance equal, take the higher interest rate. If the payment uh, is smaller, uh, take the, make that your, your first payment. All right, so here's, here's how we work. All right, having organized it this way, the entire debt, monthly debt, if you add that whole column up, comes to $2,900, okay? Now, so $2,900 is what you are paying every single month towards this debt, and that's including just minimum payments on your credit cards, right? And your total debt comes to $346,000. Now, when you look at this, it can almost it can get overwhelmed. You say, oh my gosh, I'm not good debt. So here's what I, what I recommend you do, just for your own psyche. I want you to kind of put that up there for now and look at what you really have is you have a $46,000 debt outside your home. And to that $46,000 debt, you're paying $900 a month. All right now, as we did in the first clip, what we're going to take is that $200 extra cash. And that number is whatever you can figure out how, how to get. Obviously, the bigger the number, the faster you'll pay it down. But I want you to see, $200, when you have a $346,000 debt or a $46,000 debt, doesn't seem like $200 a month is going to do much to, to knock down this debt. So many people will look at that and say, why bother? <laughs> it can't be done. Yes, it can, and watch. Watch how quickly. All right, so we're going to take now the commitment that I showed you in the last one of this. We have the $2,900 that you are going to pay every single month. You want to add to it an extra $200. And your commitment is, until you pay everything off, you will never pay in any one month less than $3,100 towards your debt. Okay, that's the commitment. Always that, month after month after month, until you knock out your debt. All right, so now, it's month one. We're going to take this credit card first, the $1,500, and to the $35 minimum payment, we are going to add $200. All right, so you're going to be paying $235 a month until you get this credit card paid off. All right, roughly that's going to take you six months. Okay, so it's going to take you six months to get that guy down, all right? So after month, in the month seven, that payment is gone. All right, now, again, your commitment is this number. And so 
the next month, in, this, in month 7, you're going to pay 200 plus 35 plus 45 towards this balance, right? So your payment is going to be $280, okay? So that's what you're going to be paying towards. But don't forget, it's six months later, so your balance is no longer 2500 So it's six months later, so this balance is down to roughly $2,000. So $280 a month towards $2,000 is, to, is going to take you another seven months to pay this one off, okay? So seven months down the road from there, or 13 months total. So we're now in month 13 here, okay? But you've eliminated two debts. Now, we're at month 13, we're going to start attacking the furniture payment. And your payment is now going to be the 280 that you were applying to here, plus the, 400, uh, the 150 here. So your payment is now $430 a month towards this guy. But now it's not a $6,000 balance anymore, because it, you're 13 months down the road. So by applying, applying $150 a month for 13 months, you're going to have roughly... $4,000 balance on this guy. So you're going to be paying $430 a month towards a $4,000 balance. It's going to take you about 11 months to retire this guy. Okay? Or actually that 11 you go down here. Alright, so now it's 11 months later. So we're now on month uh, 24. Alright? Yeah. So it's a month, month uh, down the road Oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry. I got a one thing. This didn't take you 11. That took you nine months. Sorry. Bear with my math. So you're nine months. So it's because we're now at month 22. Okay? So 20, 22. Now what you've got is the $430 payment that you were making before, plus you're now going to add 220 to that. So we're now talking about a $650 payment. Okay? $650 payment towards this guy. But now remember, we're at month 22, so we got to figure out where that guy is. After 22 months of making that payment, okay, this balance is down to $7,000. So now, you've got $7,000 to which you are paying $650 a month towards it. Okay? To, to knock that sucker down, it's going to take 11 months. That's where my, my, sorry, my notes. Okay? So 11 months to get this guy down to zero. Okay? So we've knocked out your car payment here. We are now... Um, at, at month 33, okay? So we're 33 months into our process. 33 months later, it's less than three years, and we have knocked down all but two debts, okay? So we're at 33. Now we've got to figure out what our balance here is. 33 months at $450 a month, this balance is going to be down to about $10,000. And if, when you add your $450 a month payment, now to your $650 payment, you're now going to throw 1100 bucks a month at a $10,000 debt. Okay, that's going to take you nine months. So, after, after we look there, we're now then at month 42. 42 months later, which is basically three and a half years, you have, by, by just taking an extra $200 a month, you have eliminated a $46,000 debt in 42 months. And what you now have left over is 900 plus, you have $1,100 a month in your committed monthly payment, $1,100 to be applied to the principal every month. That's $13,000 a year towards your principal. And you started with 200 bucks. What would happen if you change that to $300 or $400, whatever that number is? People, when I, when, when People talk to me and I tell them about how Leslie and I went and knocked our debt down in such a, a rapid period of time. They look at you very skeptically, like, oh my gosh, this had to be totally miraculous. And absolutely, yes, God was all over our, our work and he was helping us so much. But that's the process we used. 